Hey up everyone, this isn't going to be a long video but I will be doing a follow up soon. The headlines read, beefed up new Honda Transalp SP launches. But is it really anything new? The Honda Transalp was never really intended to compete with the likes of the Tenere 700 when it came to off-road performance. Even Honda's own Africa Twin is better equipped, if too heavy for any real off-road action. But plenty of owners do still want to take their Transalp off the pavement. In theory, it's for those riders that Honda has built the new Transalp SP. But what is it really? And is it just another missed opportunity by Honda? I hope you enjoy it and if you do, don't forget to like it and leave a comment to help me keep the YouTube algorithm on side. Since it was released, the Transalp has won over many fans. Of the new batch of twin cylinder 750 and 800cc bikes, it stands up pretty well against the opposition. The engine makes enough power and the chassis is strong. As a whole package, the Transalp is easy to live with. But let's be honest, it is a bit bland and uninspiring, with not many distinguishing features. It is also lacking in a few key areas for many people. Tubeless rims and better suspension are the things that have been on the wanted list for most people I know, and as previously with the CB500X, the Transalp just sits better on the roads, despite its look, and the cries of, we want better from the owners. I haven't heard many people shouting for more power or more electronics or anything else like that, so when I heard about the new SP version of the Transalp, I made the mistake of getting my hopes up. Had they finally built a rally raid version of the robust parallel twin that could really be pushed more off-road? Well, no, not really. The new SP is pretty much the same girl in a different dress. We get no more power, which isn't necessarily a deal breaker for me personally, but straight away it made me think, what does the SP in the name actually mean? Because what I expect when I see SP in the name of a bike is more power and better running gear. So we don't get more power, but do we get better running gear? The answer yet again is a resounding no. The most significant change on the new SP model is simply a high level crash bar wrapping around the side of the fuel tank a lower level crash bar protecting the sides of the engine and a more robust skid plate. The only other change really is a new graphics pack to let everyone know you bought the new Transalp, not just the old one. Now it may look a lot better than the grey and black bikes they've been selling, but does it really justify the SP name? To try and justify the extra price tag, the Transalp SP variant is only going to be built in a 250 machine production run. To make things worse, these bikes are only going to be sold in Spain and Portugal. Why, you may ask? Well, I certainly did. The reality is that in both Spain and Portugal, people just won't accept an adventure bike that doesn't come better equipped than the standard Transalp. Crash protection and luggage are two things that they want included. So we will see how they do, because I guess they did include the crash protection. The SP will be selling at a €10,300 MSRP, which is just over US dollars at today's exchange rate. Currently, the standard Transalp MSRP is 9999 in the US, and you can buy the best crash protection all around for less than 500 Add in a paint job to replace the drab options on offer, and I guess the price would be pretty close. So if you had the option, would you be interested in paying the extra money for a new version of the Transalp like this? Or have Honda missed another great opportunity? I will be doing a follow up to this video about why I think Honda haven't built the adventure bikes we want and what I think they should be making right now. Bikes they could have made very easily which could totally transform the Honda range. 
some of the comments from people after reading the usual bottom licking Geno's ADV rider I think are quite telling and worth a mention. The first comment reinforces my own opinion about how drab the current bike actually looks. Yuri's comment was simple. Just make those colours available in the US. Matte black is the worst option for paint. It makes the current bike look horrible. Eking said, When is Honda going to finally build the true adventure sport up spec version of the Transalp? There is now room in dollars in the market for something with better components. Which I have to say, mirrors my own thoughts entirely. Stingyar went a bit further, saying, that was disappointing. Armour and graphics is nice, but the Transalp is begging for a factory rally version. Huge missed potential. He also asked, does the upper armour make changing and cleaning the air filter take even longer now? Which we will have to wait and see. Iron Hand said, crash bars and graphics? Honda, I say this with all the love of a 40 year owner, wake up do you see all the t7s roaming the planet this is what the people want not an upsized nc500 dig up some of your 90s engineers who built cool bikes because you're honda go talk to the motocross department oh davin var's comment was simple and still no tubeless tires clock watcher said I think I will just upgrade my 89 version again. And Gedrog said simply, Nope, my money is safe for now. If there was longer travel suspension rather than just crash bars on the menu, it could be a different story. Good added, higher and stiffer suspension and a rally style seat where you don't sit down in a bucket would be a great start. Crash bars just make it heavier and worse. I have an old Transalp 600 and when you remove all the fairing and stuff you see that it actually has a dirt bike frame in geometry. It's pretty cool. And Vroom said, wait, graphics don't make a bike faster. Perhaps if they blurred them it would look faster. So in general everybody's saying pretty similar things. Would you pay more for a better equipped Transalp? with tubeless rims and longer travel fully adjustable suspension front and rear or is a new graphics pack enough to extract some extra money from you is there room for a rally raid style transalp in this already highly competitive market let me know your thoughts below in the comments if you enjoyed the video i hope you'll consider supporting the channel Please don't use the YouTube giving button because they take most of it. Instead, head over to our website where you can find the best biker t-shirts in our shop. We do plenty of custom work too, so if you've got an idea for a new design, just give me a shout. There's also our Redbubble shop where you can find mugs, hats, wall art, sweatshirts, phone cases and more. Over 60 products with great quality printing delivered worldwide. Basically, if you can print on it, we can usually supply it somehow. Just drop me a line via the contact page on the website. And don't forget to check the community page for promo codes and discounts. And while you're at it, take a look at our blog. It's packed with articles on everything from maintenance tricks to stories from ride outs, track days and other adventures. If you made it this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the best motorcycle community on YouTube and be the first to see any new videos. And always remember, keep your spanners close and your keys even closer. Ride free everyone!